Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your Fire Stick, or your Fire Stick 4K, or your Fire TV Cube. It works on all of them. Jailbreaking, or sometimes you hear it called sideloading, basically just means you're allowing your device to download apps that aren't actually available in the official app store. And it's not nearly as intense as it would be on other devices, like phones or tablets. There are other things that you can jailbreak. But that involves going into the code and changing actual code. We're not doing anything like that. It's a very simple process. Basically, you just need to know where a few of the settings are to allow you to do that on your Fire TV device. First, let's get into how you actually do this, and then we'll talk a little bit more about what we're doing after I'm done. All right, first things first, when I open up my Fire TV, I need a downloader app. Well, there's a very convenient one called, conveniently, Downloader. So you can go over here to search and you can type it in, or if you've got a remote with the voice search controls, then you just press that button, downloader. And that's exactly what we're looking for. That orange one, it's downloader. Like I said, you can type that in or you can just voice search it, but we need to get downloader. Luckily it's free. All right, so that will download while we're waiting. Basically, this is the app that will allow you to download the other apps. Like I said, apps that aren't available in the Fire TV app store. All right, now before we go there, I'm going to go back to my home page and head over to settings. I come down here to my Fire TV and I'm looking for developer options. Now, I don't see that here on my screen, okay? There's no developer options. So I'm going to click on about here. And in this case, I'm using my Fire TV Cube. It might say Fire TV Stick for you, whatever the device is that you're using. I'm gonna click on that seven times. Ah, you are already a developer. Okay, it says you're already a developer. And voila, I push the back button, goes back here to developer options. That has now shown up. So when I click on developer options, we have ADB debugging, that's off. We wanna turn that on. And what is ADB debugging? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm gonna come down here to install unknown apps and allow downloader to do so. Now, technically that's all we need to do, but you may want to also turn off any tracking depending on what kind of uh, activities you plan on doing with your side loaded fire stick, okay? So I'm gonna go back to my settings and this time go to preferences. And down here on privacy settings, I want to make sure that my device usage data and the collect app usage data is turned off. And I'm going to do the same thing down here in data usage monitoring, make sure that that is off. Basically, this just means you're not sending your data back to Amazon to analyze. And voila, that's pretty much it. All right, so now I can go to my apps and I've got the downloader that I can pop into. There it is. And if any messages come up, you know, make sure you give this app the permissions that it needs to access your files, that sort of thing. Now, as far as what apps you may want to download, that is outside the purview of this video. This is just about how to get you this far. Now, if there are apps that you want to add, things like Kodi or a different browser or game emulators, those sorts of things, this is the app that will allow you to do that. And so you can search for how to get those, but this video is just about how to get you this far. But a word of caution, I do wanna make sure that you're aware that when you do this, the reason that it's not automatically set to allow you to do this is because now you're allowing external apps onto your Fire TV device that Amazon has not approved. There may be different reasons they haven't approved of them. Some of the apps are allowing you to illegally download pirated content. Some apps are, well, they're not checked by any development team at Amazon, so they may be carrying viruses or malware, that sort of thing. So there are definitely some words of caution when it comes to doing something like this, side loading on your Fire Stick, but it is a powerful option if there are apps out there that you wanna get, uh, things that you want your Fire Stick to be able to do that it's not able to do straight out of the box. So with that word of caution, be careful, stay safe, and have fun with your side loadable Fire TV device and I will see you next time.